Hey guys, we're going to work on switching to different teams in this video. So right now we have these buttons on the side that represent different teams that you have created and I want to be able to switch to this team over here or this team here. Now before we get started on doing that, I want to address two quick things. So the first is I have this channel popping up here and I didn't add the channel. And the reason for that is there's a small bug. So you know how I forgot to add the where clause to the all teams up here? when I was doing find all on them. Well, I got to, forgot to do the same thing for channel. So I just need to add a where around the finding the team ID. And now if I were to refresh and re-grab this from the database, we should see uh, no channel showing up. Uh, so if you ever get this error connection, that just means your server is off. So it was just taking a second for me to reset. So all right, so now the channel is up and that's awesome. Um, second thing I want to do real quick is Lodash. I am importing the whole library, which is not very efficient. Uh, so what I can do instead is just grab the find index um, function. So I do Lodash slash find index. And then we can call it like so. And now the same thing should happen. We shouldn't see any difference in our code, but it'll load a little bit faster. So now let's get started with these switching teams and what we also want to do is when we create a new team to see our channel pop up right here like a hashtag general and a hashtag random because those two teams should be default. So actually let's do that real quick. So I have my uh, team create team resolver and really all I want to do is after this uh, create the channel. So I'm going to say const team is equal to this uh, await the creation of the team and then I'm going to say models dot channel dot create and for now I'm just going to create a a team or a channel that is uh, general so I'm going to call it general and I don't remember what other fields I have for my channel um, there's name and public public I should have set a default value for um, to be false. Let's do that real quick. Um, so type, oh I mean to say uh, default value. The default value should be true. Now this won't actually uh, affect the database because we'd have to drop the database for three. But next time we drop the database uh, or do a migration we'll have this in. Alright. So back over here, we have the name. So right now we have to set public um, is equal to true. And then I also want to set the, was it owner? Uh, it wouldn't be owner, it's team ID. The team ID equal to, um, this associates this channel that we're creating to the team, which is team.id. Now I notice I'm not awaiting the creation of the channel. Now we could do this, but, and this is if you want to catch any errors when you're creating the channel, but I kind of want to like increase the uh, speed at which we hit this return and return back to the user a true. So to do that, I am not going to uh, return or await this create. So that is on purpose. But what I could do is await it. Oops. I could put a wait here and then we would await to return before this is finished. Just to verify our channel's finished creating. Okay, uh, just to verify that works, I'm going to create a new channel real quick. And hopefully we get a, uh, a new team there. So I'm going to call this uh, new team, hit submit, head over to view team. And oh, and we have no way to switch to our, our team over here yet. So okay, when we implement our switching to team, we can actually figure out whether that one has a general in it. Okay, so let's do that now. So the way we're gonna do that is actually in the URL. So I'm gonna be going to, for example, slash 13 slash three. And what that will mean, or slash 12 slash three. What this will do is I'm gonna put the team ID here and the um, channel ID here. So what I'll do is I'll automatically open that team and that channel um, given this URL. Now if I specify this URL, I'm going to default to the first team right here in the first channel, which will be general. 
So let's implement that right now. So here's my route. Now I told you I want this to um, basically conditional. I might not have a channel, I might not have a team. So I'll have team ID. And I put a question mark here for an optional parameter. And I'm gonna do the same thing for channel ID. So now if I look at my React uh, dev tools over here, I can search for this component, which is view, view team, I guess. Um, okay, so notice how I did export default here. So there's no name associated to this component. So we're gonna fix this by calling this view team and do export default view team. So now when I search view team, I should be able to find it in my dev tools. Okay, so view team shows up. So we can click on this. These are the props passed to it. So these come from React Router. I can click on match and I can see params. So right now we see no params, but if I add a two, we can see we should get back and this should be view team we get a team ID. Now if I were to do this, and now we need to make sure to parse those to integers too. Um, view team, and now we should get a channel. Match, params, channel ID, so perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the match and then the params from this. And instead of passing in the current team ID as a hard coded, I'm going to say params.team ID. And now in my sidebar over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically create an if statement. So first, I'm going to say current team ID. So we're checking whether this is a good team ID, whether it's undefined. If we do have a good team ID, we'll do this here, and we're just gonna do parse int. That way to turn that string into an integer. Otherwise, we're gonna say zero. And we just need to add a, I believe it's a radix. I have no idea how to say that. Um, this is just what base you want to parse it into. So we're checking whether we get a good team ID. If we do, um, we can look up that team ID in our all teams. Otherwise, we just grab the first index of our teams. Um, all right, let's take a look at this. See if we got any errors. Okay, so two does not exist, so we're getting an error. So we're gonna need to add some error handling the, to this, but if I go to seven, um, we open up that, and I don't know what the, you know, the IDs of these are, but we'd be able to go to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these links that I can click on and it's gonna take us to the team ID. So this is, what are these? That's our teams. That's gonna be our teams component. And all right, so this team list item, I basically wanna wrap in a link. So import link from React Router. And we have the ID so we can build our link. So we're gonna say two, and we're just gonna wrap this guy. Now, what our value is gonna be is, I believe I can just do a slash here is slash view team and then the ID we want to go to. So view team and the ID is whatever ID is that team. So we have that value here. And um, I have no, I'm not sure exactly what this ESLint warning is. Anchor tag or is valid. Let's go ahead and turn this off. This looks like something that's broken. Oops. I have Bob copy and pasted. Um, where was it? There we go. Copy that. And just turn it off. All right. 
So let's take a look at this. Um, and we just need to move the key here to our link because that's the outer component now. So now if we hover here, now these look, we get the clickable item. So notice what the team name is here. We click, we get a new team, new team, new team. And this new team actually has a hashtag general here. So very cool. So creating the team um, actually works. Now I just thought of a potential problem that we could be getting um, with not awaiting this. So right now when I create a new team it takes me to the home page, right? But ideally it should just take you to this page and it should direct you to the team that you just created. So in our view team, not our view team, create team. So on submit we get the response. What we would like to do is yeah. So if this is okay, what we'd really like to do is look at the team. Which are we grabbing it? No, we're not. Grab the team, grab the ID, and let's just make sure we're supporting that in our schema. I believe we are. Um, create team response. So we're not. Let's pass back the team. So in our team resolver here, I'm going to pass back the team. So then my front end here, I can grab the team and get the ID of the team. And the reason why I want that is now here, instead of pushing to just there, the home page, I can go to view team slash and then team.id. Now let's see if that works. So now I'm going to go to create team, um, my new team, hit submit, and my new team is created. Cool. And it takes us here and it opens it up. So the thing that I was worried about is that the hashtag general would not be created before we actually went to here, but we did. So that's that's the only thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put an away here. So it's basically a race condition, right? So did we create the channel before we actually make a query when we come to this page? And just to be safe, we'll await that. So let's see if we see any any a little bit slower in our creation. So um, team three, and pretty quick still, so not noticeable lag. So very good. So now we can switch to our different teams. That's awesome. And we have our new channels, our general channel being created. Now you could create as many channels as you wanted here as default. Um, you could do something like this, but I would recommend if you want more channels, um, default besides just general. I believe sometimes they have a random channel that's default. Um, make sure you do bulk create. I think it's just models.channel.bulk create is what it's called um, in SQLize, which lets you make multiple uh, inserts at once. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and as always, the code will be up on GitHub.